first series was about a woman scorned. What's the second series about? Um, in a nutshell, um, two people who have divorced, who um, have a child, and it's about when you divorce, you never actually can split up if you have a child. Um, so they have to parent Tom together. They haven't seen each other for a couple of years, and they're living very separate lives. And it's about when Simon comes back into Gemma's life, and how two people who hate each other navigate their situation when everyone else has looked the other way, and the divorce is kind of old news. Yeah. Actually, if Gemma had had therapy, we wouldn't have a series two, so I'm really glad she hasn't had therapy. But we go on a journey with her over five episodes where um, she not so much just fall apart as channels her <laughs> hatred. And it's this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Do we see more extremes to her then? Do we really see what makes her tick this time? Um, I think... I think the beauty of the first series was uh, obviously the thrill of the affair, the the finding out, the uncovering, the investigative um, element. And now what we have with series two is we know what's gone on. We know how they feel about each other. So the excitement is um, there's, a, there's a darker sexual tension that goes underneath the hatred. And I think sex and hate can work really well together, especially in the hands of Mike Bartlett um, on a TV show. What persuaded you that there was a second series in this? Because I know you had doubts that there would be a second series. What persuaded you? I think when you I think when you film any series, you've got to film it in its entirety. So you're never looking to do the next thing. So that's why I always felt like we'd finished on, with one series. But um, when Mike put to me that actually the story had only just begun because there's a betrayal, there's an affair, um, and once that was uncovered, the series ended. So actually you want to know how these two people are going to pursue each other, um, live together in and out of each other's lives. And also then there's the element of Kate and Jodie isn't here tonight. And I, I was texting her saying, where are you? Because obviously um, she's brilliant. And Kate is the fourth bit of the triangle because we have our son, Tom. Um, and it's about um, a very dysfunctional blended family. Um, and, and yeah, and, and what's left underneath. I think this series is darker. And, and what made me come back to it was I'd never seen anything like this on TV before. There's no story of divorce. The stories um, end with the divorce, but then it's what happens after. At what point did you realise how big the first series was? Because it did it take you by surprise how well it did? Yeah, because I, I think um, I thought that infidelity and betrayal were quite um, it was quite a niche subject, and I and but actually, the more I talk to people, the more I, I've come to a re realisation that um, the fear of infidelity and the, um, the prospect of um, losing your relationship is tangible. You know, you can sit on your sofa and go, oh my God, what if that happened to me? We are, um, Sam and Gemma are everybody, you know, and I think that that is the beauty of it, that you are sat kind of thinking, well, if my life fell apart, what would I do? And the revenge is the icing on the cake, because that's the sexy thrill part of the drama. So I think that I... I was surprised, but then when you think about it, it's um, of course it's interesting to people because there's a fear that it could happen to any of us.